Now, oftentimes uh, I'll use the roto brush even in color correction, and that is when I need to separate elements in a scene. And in this case, we had this commercial, and I had to do several several different shots within this commercial of just separating out characters, changing the color correction overall, and changing it in the background. In this case, there is a lot of activity going on behind the characters in every single scene. And uh, it was all shot with a red cam, so it had to be brightened up anyway. So I did my first pass, and I wanted to make sure that I had edges to work with here around my characters. And so by bringing up my levels and doing my color adjustments, at this point, I've got my basic color for my foreground characters already established, and it also gave me good edges to work with. So from that point, I went on to my Rotobrush tool, and I created my mat, which I then rendered out as a QuickTime movie, as you'll see here. And this QuickTime movie is something that I have further control of beyond just the Rotobrush control. So I can bring that in again as a QuickTime movie. I can add a little Gaussian blur to it, and that softens it up even a little more. So I've got softer edges where I want it. And I could change those across time if I wanted to as well. But now you can see that with this mat, I'm able to hold the initial color correction for my foreground characters and get that bluish cast in the background that really gives me a lot of separation behind the foreground characters and into the background. And these are really key in creating really good color corrections as well. Now we've got the whole commercial available here in the assets and you'll be able to see a lot of different scenes, a lot of different characters here that we had to kind of do this globally and a lot of challenges such as hair and motion blur and a lot of other challenges that were in there. So I kind of used a combination of both the roto brush and some paintbrush techniques on the mat themselves. And uh, that's something that's also covered a little more detail on one of the other titles for compositing uh, if you want to get into more advanced compositing techniques. But you can see that the Roto Brush is a really good everyday tool for doing this type of work with color correction as well as doing uh, major compositing work.